Now that week five is over, let's check in on the college football ladder before week six begins. Just as a reminder, this is how you can get points throughout the college football ladder. To start the year, you could start with three points, and throughout the year, you could achieve or lose points based on any of these right here. The teams on top of the ladder right now have either been a combination of a top 10, a top 25, or have three wins so far this year. Let's start with the bottom of the barrel, level zero. Now these teams are either non-power five teams that have not been a power five team yet, or they are power five teams that have lost to a non-power five team. And these teams haven't gained points in any other category. Now for teams level one through three, you could get points in a lot of different ways. For example, you could be a non-power five team like Marshall that has beat a power five team. Or you could be an unranked team that has beat a ranked team, or you could have three wins so far this year. Now for levels four and five, they usually hit a lot of different categories. For example, they could have a blue chip ratio, be a top 25 team, have a top 10 win, have a top 25 win, and the list just keeps going on. But the teams that have acquired the most points so far this year are Ohio State and Texas gaining six points and seven points respectively. Now, this is not an indication that these two teams are going to win the championship. However, it is an indication that these two teams have been the most impressive so far this year. Let me know where your team is in the college football ladder and how you think they're doing so far. And make sure to hit the follow button if you want to see this series in the future.